Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today I've got a little vlog for you guys. I uploaded one a few weeks ago and you guys seem to enjoy it. So I thought I would do another one. Um, I've kind of been filming just like bits and bobs over the last like week or so. I feel like I don't have an interesting enough life to film like every single day. But when I do have something on that's kind of interesting, I filmed it. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I go on a shoot day with Sophie. So I kind of took you behind the scenes of how I take like my Instagram pictures. I got a new bed, so I attempted to build that on camera um yeah and i have a little amazon haul as well so yeah i really hope you enjoy this video let me know if you do in the comments so today is a new bed day very very excited i've been waiting for this for like two months now or even longer i ordered the bed ages ago but i feel like furniture and stuff like that just takes so long to be delivered i'm used to like next day delivery with clothes um so yeah new bed day today this is obviously the one i have at the moment it's nice but not really my style anymore and it squeaks so much because if i sit up if i lay down if i roll over squeak 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 so excited to get rid of this one so it's like a four foot bed which i think i like small doubles um just because where my room is like quite um small i feel like if i went for a double bed there would literally be like no room to like film or take pictures or anything um and yeah i'm single as can be so don't really need like a proper full double bed so yeah going for another like small double like four foot one but yeah i'll show you it when it comes i need to like take all of this one down and then try and put up the other one. It's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. Might rope in like my mum or dad to help me. Okay, so I've got everything out from under my bed. It's all like dotted around everywhere. Um, also I took off my mattress. So I now just need to take apart this bed. Got my little Allen keys to do that. Um, so yeah, I've just got to go through and unscrew every single screw. So that should be fun, yay. Okay, old bed has gone, new bed has came. So this is what it looks like. Well, this is obviously the headboard. Um, yeah, so I now just need to put it together, got all the bits to it. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Wish me luck. What's in here? All of that. Oh God, this looks complicated. Okay, I need to try and find some instructions because I have no idea what I'm doing at the moment. These are a lot of screws. This looks like it's going to be a big job. Oh god, look at all of them. Ugh, this is going to take ages. Meh. I guess this is step one to try and make the frame. So let's give it a go. One of there. And then this one or this one? This one, I think. That goes there. Okay, and then we need the brackets. Let's get these out. I think using these for so that should go there that should go over there oh that one over there that one over there maybe we should move some of these bits out of the way for now oh or is it these brackets Oh, I think I'll get used to the wrong brackets. Ensure the two larger through holes in the side rails are at the same end of the completed subframe. What the hell does that mean? What? I do not know. What are the... The two... What's it say? The two larger through holes. What's even a through hole? There's loads of holes. Maybe I have to turn around. Go there. DIY with Catherine. It's going well. It's a screwdriver. Well, the electric screwdriver. Um, yeah, maybe. That might help. Might have, yeah. It might have an Allen key fit in as well. Yeah. Mark, you want them? Thank you. Do you have the. Well, yeah, I haven't. Okay. Have you got one? I could take. Oh, no, I'll try and bring you. I'll yeah, isn't it like a set? Yeah, somewhere. We have finished all four corners. It's literally taken me an hour and all I've done is basically put the brackets on the four corners. Um, and also my dad has only just decided to remind me we actually have an electric screwdriver. So yeah, I've been doing it with like the little manual one for the last hour 
Um, and yeah, just remembered we have this. So hopefully this is gonna make the rest of the process a lot quicker. I have high hopes for this little thing. It's very good, look. Um, and it has like different little heads on it. So you can do screws, you can do like the Allen key heads. Very, very good, I love this. I've now completed step one, step two, step three. On to step four. This is out of 30 steps, by the way, and it is taking me an hour to get to this point. So yeah, I'd probably give up if I could, but I need somewhere to sleep tonight, so I don't really have a choice but to persevere. So let's try and do this next step. It's the next day now, as you can probably tell by my full face of makeup and hair done. Um, yeah, I finished so late last night. Like, honestly, it took me so long. I thought it would maybe be like a two hour job, but six hours later, I was still at it. It took so long. I feel like I pulled a muscle in my back doing it. I'm turning into like an old woman, um, but it's finally done. So I'm gonna do a little reveal. This is what it looks like. I've tried to make my bed look nice. I'm really bad at making it. I don't know how they do it in like hotels and stuff, but yeah, this is the full bed. Um, yeah, I really like it. It's almost like a creamy kind of beige um, linen material um, and there's storage underneath. If I open it up, I think there's like a pull thing you have to pull. How do we get this up? Um, I don't know. I think there's supposed to be something in here. Okay, here. Upwards to get the storage underneath. There you go. Yeah. So as you can see, I've definitely made the most of all the storage. Um, yeah, already packed it full of like boxes, suitcases, parcels, everything like that. And then I think we just and I feel like the bed stays made, which is very, very good. Okay, so the biggest Amazon parcel just came with all of this clothing inside. I am working with Amazon on this part of the YouTube video, so I got to pick out some of my favourite bits from their website. Um, they have loads and loads of brands on there, some more like well-known brands like Calvin Klein, but then I also found some smaller brands that I hadn't really heard of before. I'm going to go through and maybe try a few of these little bits on, sell them into outfits so you can kind of see what they look like. Um, but how nice are these slippers? These make such a good Christmas present and um, they're super Super soft as well and I think they're pretty affordable and then also I picked up some Calvin Klein underwear I'm not gonna try these on um, but yeah we just have the bra here which I love because it's a little bit padded super super comfortable and then I picked up the like um, knickers in both like the thong style and then also like the bikini style as well um, and I love this kind of grey colour so I'll link these down below as well Okay, so this is the first outfit on. Um, I've got the little check jacket, which I absolutely love. Um, I think this is from the brand only. Um, obviously, I'll link everything down below. I'm pretty sure I got it in a size large, just because I do like my kind of jackets and coats to be a little bit oversized. Um, and then under that, I've just paired it with a simple white hoodie. I feel like you can't go wrong with just like a simple hoodie. And then we have these kind of coated jeans. They fit so well. I sometimes find jeans can be a little bit baggy around the ankle on me because I feel like I have quite small like calves and ankles um but yeah these fit great and then I just have on some black high top converse with it um and my little Kubel's bag I'm going to try and list all the sizes I got in everything as well in the description box just so you can get an idea of what size I got maybe that helps you with your sizing so for my next outfit I've got on the same coated jeans as my last one but I paired it with this camel knit roll neck top which I love it's honestly so soft I think it's from the brand what was the brand let me have a look the brand was Daily Ritual. And then over that, I've got on this camel coat, which is from the brand Find. Absolutely love this. Um, I feel like the camel and camel go really well. Both feel really good quality, super soft. Um, I'll leave sizes I got in them both in the description box. But yeah, I've just paired it with the black coated jeans as earlier and some black boots and a little black bag. And yeah, I really like this look. I think it's super cute, especially for kind of winter. And I feel like it's a mix of casual, but then also a little bit dressy. Um, but you could definitely change up the heeled boots for maybe some like black chunky ones, or even the black Converse that I was wearing in my last outfit. Um, or you could change it up for heels even if you wanted a little bit more of a dressy look. Next outfit is this super cozy little loungewear set. It's from the brand only, which is one of my like favorite brands that I discovered on Amazon. Um, but yeah, so you have the little sweatshirt here in this really nice kind of orangey camel colour and then also the joggers. I love a matching set, I feel like they look super cute. Um, this one's really really soft as well, I think it's made out of like 60% organic cotton um, but I'll link it down below, I'm pretty sure it comes in a few other colours as well. I definitely sized up in this just because I do like my loungewear sets to be a little bit oversized so you could definitely go for your true size or a size down if you wanted it to be a little bit more fitted. I've then just thrown over this super cosy little teddy coat um, which again is from Amazon, I think the brand was, let me have a look what the brand was on my phone. 
So the brand was Urban Classic um, and it also comes in black as well. Just a nice oversized teddy coat. I honestly wear these so much in winter because they just keep you super warm. Um, I think I sized up in this again because like I said, I do like my coats and jackets to be oversized, but I'll leave my exact size in the description box that I picked it up in. Really, really nice. It's kind of the same color as the tracksuits. It's very like matchy matchy, um, but I also think it would look super cute just chucked over like an all black outfit. Um, price wise, I think it was around the 60 pound price mark. And then last up, these cute little PJs. Um, I think these come in quite a few other colours as well. But yeah, super soft and comfy. Love these. So I got these in the size 10 to 12. Um, I would recommend sizing up if you are going to pick them up. I normally get like an 8 to 10, but I read the reviews and it says to size up. So that's what I did. And I love the fit of them. And then also these slippers are literally the softest things ever. I'm obsessed. Like if I show you them. But yeah, super, super cute. I think they're on Prime Delivery as well. So if you want like a last minute Christmas present, then I feel like these would be great. So I just got to Martin Hill. I've got myself a little cup of tea. Um, and now I'm just waiting on Sophie to arrive. I'm filming on my iPhone because I'm too scared to get out my actual camera um but yeah that's what I'm doing currently got my little tea I don't even like tea but I wanted a hot drink because it's so cold out and it's like 9am so I didn't really fancy hot chocolate so tea it is hello squad okay we're in the car now um because it's raining out not ideal for a shoot day um so we're just waiting out the rain um yeah that's about it i feel like it's starting to stop though it's starting to slow yeah we hope it doesn't rain all day because that is not the dream we're having a it's tea not, yeah we we expected sunny sun vibes winter not sun has not come through yeah and it's miserable rainy and cloudy and cold and um, so yeah love that for us we actually look like we're matching i know camel, well, well kind of i've got like the darker camel mm. with the knit you've got the lighter camel with the knit blonde hair you but yours is longer oh no, mine is very long i, I don't like know if this is the vibe do i look chubby absolutely no because would you tell no. me though oh 100 you've got a roll neck on yeah camel coat i know you but could not look chubby if you it tried. is a lot of hair it's because you're used to short hair though the morning <laughs> very in trendy enough, you know? no i i think you could be now with the new hair oh. yeah um yeah the little boots cute doggies the dogs are so cute <laughs> okay i think we're gonna shoot here hello so yeah this is what i'm wearing i love those boots yeah i bought them from mango the other day they're quite nice i don't know if they're like too much of a like a ready brown though Would it not be easier to lay it down? Probably, but neutral suitcase problems. Yeah, I'm just I muddy didn't floor. Think of that. So I'm going with this. So what look are we doing? We're doing like a outfit where we've got a plain okay. outfit underneath. We could change a few times yeah. the just the jacket. Yeah. Okay. Are we? We're moving the car, aren't we? Yeah. So I can leave some of the looks. Yeah, yeah, you can leave the them in the car. So what we try to do, guys, just to give you a brief overview, <laughs> is we'll try, when we do coats or, like, winter outfits, we'll try have, like, a couple outfits where it's, like, neutral underneath or, like, all black underneath. <laughs> and just take it over your vlog. <laughs> and then we can just, like, shoot a few coats without keep going back to the car and changing. We can just, like, ch keep changing the coat. Um, so, yeah, convenient. Very, right. It's not the best weather, so we're trying to like get as much as we can done while it's like reasonably bright. Um, so yeah, what's that little shacket there, Catherine? A little shacket. Little shacket. Okay. okay. I saw it first. If you watched my YouTube video, you would have seen it. Oh, awkward. <laughs> um, yeah. So nice little camel belt jacket. You'll love this. Very yeah, that's well nice. Nice little belt cinching at the waist. You know, black leather leggings, black boots, Bob's your uncle. Okay. <laughs> Fanny's now, your aunt. <laughs> I'll tell you the next look as well while we're after White teddy coat, black leather leggings, black boots. And that's not black white, bumper. that's evidently pink. Okay. Okay. Nude. Like a creamy... Comment below, nude or white. It's like an <laughs> You lied. <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice I though. Lied to my fans. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, you girl Sophie. Do I look 
<laughs> she hates me. She's literally looking at me like, what are you doing? Do I look stupid in this fedora hat? You know, like when you see girls on Instagram wearing trends and you try jump on it and you just don't see it. This, I feel like this is me with this fedora hat. But I don't know. Is it a vibe? Is it not? <laughs> you know they're subscribed to see me, not you. <laughs> you know they would subscribe to your YouTube channel. I don't do it anymore. I no, don't get you top. don't upload. <laughs> terrible. Terrible, <laughs> terrible YouTuber, terrible Instagrammer, terrible person. Yeah. <laughs> Second outfit of the day. Second outfit of the day. Should be about the fourth, but we move. <laughs> Look how cute this restaurant is. This is Babylon. Beach Blanket Babylon, it's called. So, so cute. And we often go in there for our little lunch. It's really nice, actually. I know. And it's not too expensive either. Um, and this is Notting Hill. It's so, so cute. I feel like this is where we'd want to live, isn't it? Yeah, if I were the last two tomorrow, we'd love a little little house down here, wouldn't yeah. we? Yeah, love to live around here. I mean, it here. wouldn't be a little house. No, one of the big houses, of course. We're a bit um, disappointed with the Christmas decorations, weren't we? Because we were saying, like, you know all the houses in London that have, like, the perfect, gorgeous yeah. house to decorate? And none of them have really done anything, have they? No. It's so cold. My hands are frozen. It's so cold. It's, like, bitter. We've got in the car, we've got the heating on, we're warming up. To get cold here. I know. It's sad. <laughs> we're gonna go get a cup of tea. Yeah, go. I need a tea. Little hot drink to warm up the hands and to go to the wee. Um and then yeah, another outfit. How many what, how many well, outfits have we done? I feel like we should say we've done about seven how cold I am, but I think we've done three. Yeah. This will be four. What's the time? Um like the It's like quarter past twelve, I think. Half twelve. We're it's hard on days like this as well because it gets cold. It gets um, dark so early, so it's like yeah. We literally have till like three. We, the car is a mess. I do apologise for Sophie's car that I've made a mess of. It's mostly me. Let's be honest. It's um, easily tidied, hum. Easily yeah. tidied. Should I put this hoodie on? Yeah, I think hoodie. Yeah. Okay. And then brown coat on top. I feel like my hair's gone frizzy. Always my does. hair's gone frizzy. Do you know what I really want to get actually? While well, we're on here and can talk about beauty yeah, stuff because okay. sure people are interested. I put on my Instagram story the other week about like my hair, like when I don't have extensions in mainly, but when I straighten my hair, I want that like sleek straight look. Yeah. And I leave the house and it looks like that and then within five yes. minutes, oh, within five minutes it's so frizzy and kinky and it just doesn't stay straight and everyone said to try that colour wild dream yes, coat yes i bought that is it good i haven't tried it yet thing. i haven't tried I'm it because i haven't had straight yeah, hair I think yet today's no but today's the day we if you would have sprayed that on when you blow dry your hair then it wouldn't have gone frizzy because it's supposed to like protect it from like humid weather for three washes as well apparently three yeah. washes wow wow where did i put why you're silly why you're silly where are you? Where is Sally? I'll find her in a sec. She's somewhere. She's somewhere in the back, chilling. Okay, hair and makeup is done for the day. You would have seen in the little time lapse I did. Um, I do actually have a full YouTube video on how I do my makeup in case any of you are interested. I'll link it down below. It's about six months old now, but I literally use like the exact same products. So yeah, today I've got a few like Instagram posts and YouTube videos to film. Um, I need to film like an outfits of the week kind of winter outfit ideas video. 
you probably would have seen it by now it should be up on youtube um but yeah i need to film that i filmed a few clips yesterday for it but i need to finish it off today and then i also need to shoot an instagram post for casio the watch brand so that should be fun as well and then this afternoon i'll probably edit them both um and do some admin bits but yeah that's what I'm doing today um i'm in my dressing gown very very cozy so this is my little setup and um, so i've got my iphone on my ring light but i don't actually have the ring light on i'm just using it as a tripod and then i have this which is like a little bluetooth um kind of what are they called like remotes um so basically if i press this it takes a picture on my phone so it makes it super easy instead of having to like set the timer um i just have to strategically hide this when i'm actually taking the pictures um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do and then I'll get quite a few pictures hopefully um, and then go through them and hopefully I like one. now there's no one on my carriage hence why i'm talking to you um but i've got my face mask on this little pink one here it's from amazon um but yeah i'm just off to meet live i think we're gonna get some lunch somewhere maybe take a few pictures it is like the run up to christmas though and i think we're going like bond street oxford street so i'm hoping it's not too busy it's a sunday and it's like half 11 at the moment so yeah hopefully it's not too too busy um but yeah i'll keep you updated with what I do, this is what I'm wearing. Um, it's from Amazon, um, this little check jacket, and then I have the um, hoodie and then the little leather leggings. So yeah, that is what I'm doing today. Hello. Um, this gets quite hot when you're trying to talk, um, but like I said, there's no one literally on my carriage at all. So yeah, obviously I'll keep it on anyway, but yeah, see you later. There she is. Hello! We went, we both went to the wrong Zara. I went to that one. Oh, so hilarious. And we went to the one down there. It was actually the most interesting thing. This is Bond Street at Christmas. Looking very, very festive and pretty. So I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. Let me know if you want to see more of them. I can definitely do that for you guys. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.